Welcome again to another video. In this video, we will perform exact test for two means using the data analysis tool pack in Excel 2016, Office 365. For this example, we are using the same example we did for the t-test assuming equal variances, just to compare the result with the other one. So to see the difference between them, look for the video that says t-test assume equal variances on my channel. The question here says that investors want to see if they can do better by buying funds directly or through brokers. 5% significance level, we want to see if the directly purchased funds outperform, which means bigger, larger than those through brokers. They give us the variances for both of them, the population variances, and we have the data for purchasing directly or through brokers. So the same idea, we're going to let mu one be the mean net annual return from direct purchase and mu 2 through brokers, which means we're looking at our claim that outperform means mu 1 greater than mu 2. In other words, mu 1 minus mu 2 is greater than 0, which means we place it in the alternative and the null will be less than or equal 0 as we see over here. That means we have a right tail test and we expect the critical value to be positive and the t-test, uh, sorry, the z-test statistic to be positive as well. Let's do the z-test. So we're going to go to the data ribbon, data analysis tool pack, z-test to sample or means. We're going to select the variable one range, so which is A2 to A51, I already selected it. Select the variable two range, same idea for the broker. The hypothesized mean difference would be zero from the claim. The variances are given to us, 37 for the first one, 43 for the second, make sure you don't switch them. I did not select the labels. Alpha is 0 0.05, and we're gonna place the output over here. And that's basically what we need, similar to the t-test that we performed earlier in the other video. So here, just pressing OK will give me the result. That's the Z value, the Z statistics. That's the critical value for Z, which we know at the 95% or the 5% level of significance, it's 1.645, comparing the test statistics, it's to the right of the Z critical value, which means reject. Also, if you look at the p-value, it's less than alpha, which also means reject. So either way we look at it, p-value is less than alpha, the test stat is to the right of the critical value. In both cases, the decision would be to reject the null hypothesis, which is what we get with the t-test, assuming equal variances in the other video, and the decision would be the same. At the 5%, there is enough evidence to support the claim. The claim is the, null, the alternative hypothesis that the directly purchased funds outperform the funds bought through brokers. To compare the results for the z-test and the p-value, Watch the t-test, assume equal variances, and you'll see that the results are very close as well. Both ways, z-test and t-test in this particular example gives us the same decision. However, that's not always the case. Remember that sometimes we get different decision based on if we're performing a z or a t-test. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and look for more videos.